Do you think it's time for schools to reopen? I think it's time for schools to reopen safely. Safely. You have to have fewer people in the classroom. You have to have ventilation systems that have been reworked. Our CDC commissioner is going to be coming out with science-based judgment within, I think, as early as Wednesday as the layout, what the minimum requirements are. Safely. We've got to do it safely. Look, please, please go to BuckSaxon.com. I have an editorial up today on forever the fight against forever COVID. You know that I've seen all this stuff coming. You know that I've had, and I don't mean, I'm not trying to brag about it or something, and I'm not the only one, but I know what they're going to try to do here. I know what they've been doing, and the record speaks for itself in that regard. So please go to BuckSexon.com, read my editorial there on the fight against forever COVID, and, and share it to your Facebook page. That's a really helpful thing to do. Just, just press the share button to your Facebook page. I, I want, it is really important to me that we win this fight. I, I want this to go the way it needs to go. And that means people have to understand what's really happening here. They have to understand what we're truly up against. And things like Joe Biden saying, we're going to reopen schools safely. We got to reopen the schools safely. This is, this is all nonsense. Schools have always been safe. The, the, the data doesn't say they would be safe if. What the data tells us is that schools are safe, have been safe, will be safe. That children are, thank God, at effectively zero risk and very, very unlikely to spread this to anyone. And then you'd say, well, what about the teachers? And we always hear this, what about the teachers? Uh, well, there are other people who are working in critical positions, doing so for less glory and even money than teachers are. You know, thank you, postal service workers, grocery store clerks, truckers. You know, thank you to the people that are keeping the country going during the pandemic. And beyond that, most teachers are under the age of 65. In fact, most teachers, a vast majority of them are in their 30s and 40s. And so we're at entirely acceptable risk from COVID-19 unless they have some comorbidity or some additional health issue. And if that's the case, they should make arrangements for that teacher to do Zoom instruction. But for a teacher who's 25 who just doesn't want to go back into the classroom or a teacher who's 35 who just doesn't feel like actually having to show up in person, the response for the government authorities, because these are public sector employees, they work for the government in the public school system, should be, Show up or find another job. That's it. That's not some. That's not some horrible prison sentence. That's you know okay. You don't. It doesn't matter to you enough to actually teach these kids. You know, go go do something else. Learn to code. Have fun. You know, go set up a one of these you know side hustles online where you're selling and reselling Amazon products or something. And if you look at Instagram or TikTok these days, people are making millions doing that. I mean, I, I don't believe any of that stuff, but I'm just saying there's. Other other ways, other ways um, that we have to view this, but the Democrats rely on, you know this, the Democrats rely on the teachers' unions for a lot. They rely on the teachers' unions for a lot. And that means that they're not going to tell them, they're not going to speak out against them in any meaningful way. And... That allows the continued suffering of children. Now, I, I understand that in Chicago, it looks like they've reached a tentative deal. You know that in Chicago, they had already reached a deal, and they had done all the things. They're not even really doing school the way that they should. Now, can I be clear about this? Uh, they're not even telling people, go back to school. Kids should not be wearing masks, okay? Kids shouldn't be masked up all day. This is absurd. Kids don't need to be socially distanced in school. They are not at risk from the disease. This is known. This is established. It has been shown in country after country all over the world. So why are we masking up kids? Oh, you know, now you start to see, you know, to, to make us into the bleeding sheep who do what we're told, you want to start young. You know, you, you, you want to get to us before, before we actually have a, uh, thought processes of our own about things like this you know that's that's the way that it goes you want you want to tell us when we're eight years old mask up be quiet 
Here's some social justice reading for you. Okay. Uh, The Chicago Public Schools was finally, I think, too much. Too much. Um, And now everyone's finally understanding what's been going on here, and and that is there's been a complete lack of willingness. There's been an insistence from people on the left that they... Uh, that we not really conduct ourselves like reasonable adults that can, who can balance out the needs of society and the need to protect people, especially at-risk people from this disease. It's just been whatever the establishment demands we've been willing to go along with. Whatever the, the Fauciites have decided on any given day, that then becomes the excuse for shutting down dissent and telling everybody that this is the way that it, it has to be. Uh, this is the way it has to be. And, and it's a shame. It's a shame. They're just figuring out now all, all the suffering that has gone on out there. Here's Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen um, understanding this now. Play two, uh, play four. People are on the verge of uh, losing the roofs over their heads. Um, The package provides rental assistance. Um, We have 24 million adults and 12 million children that are are going hungry every day, and we need to provide them with food. Um, We have people suffering, particularly low-wage workers and uh, minorities, and through absolutely no fault of their own, we have to get them to the other side and make sure this doesn't take a permanent toll um, on their lives. So we need a package that's big enough to address this full range of needs. And I believe that the American Rescue Plan is up to the job. Can I, can I be very, I want to be very clear here. I want to be very clear. Here. Uh, it's like the Democrats are just waking up right now and figuring out that it is predominantly low-income and minority kids who are suffering from these uh, school shutdowns. It is predominantly, or actually almost entirely, the working class, generally speaking, who are having a hard time putting food on the table, keeping up with their, with their bills, um, maintaining payments for their rent or their mortgage, and that the feckless and unaccountable decisions of Gavin Newsom and Governor Cuomo and Governor Pritzker and Gretchen Whitmer up in Michigan and Governor Murphy in New Jersey, you know, go down the list. Those decisions have hurt people. They've acted the whole time like there was no choice here. We had to do all these things. Really? We we had to shut down businesses on an arbitrary fashion? Because in New York, we're reopening restaurants, for example, in less than two weeks with higher caseload than when we shut it down. So what is it? The pain, the economic pain got to be too much politically. It used to be that they would all pretend that economic pain didn't matter. Didn't matter. About saving lives. If you even talked about keeping society going, you were a reckless monster who wanted grandma to die and yet here we are now we can finally have the discussion now we can finally look at this and say hmm there was a balance that needs to be struck there was honesty that we needed to have in all of this yeah just in just in time of course for there to be an administration that's going to love the abuse of the power that it's already gathered along all of this Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.